Interior Governor Peter Munya this afternoon stormed out of a function presided over by the Deputy President William Ruto, protesting what he termed as an attempt by the Deputy President to force the Jubilee Party on the Meru region. Before walking out amidst the jeers from the crowd, Munya told Ruto that he will not defend his seat on the yet to be formed Jubilee Party and that the party will not make any headway in Meru. KTN's Muremi Mwangi now reports. Na mheshimiwa naib rais Utani Samee najua kuna kundi liwekwa hapa ya kupiga kelele hiyo nishinda yao. Mimi naenda mikutano wengine niko na mkutano bore na maua huko utani ruhusu niweze kwenda. Asante Mungu akubariki. An open spot on the face of Deputy President William Ruto and his entourage of top Jubilee Brigade who are here on a charm offensive to popularize the recently formed Jubilee Party in Meru only to meet a bitter host a sworn Jubilee rebel Governor Peter Munya. Hakuna mtu hata yeyote anaweza kunisurutisha ya kwamba lazima niingie shama fulani. Kwa hivyo 2017 mimi nitaomba kura na chama ingine si chama ya Jubilee. Hiyo siasa ndiyo tunasema tutapindua, tutabadilisha, tuwe na siasa mpya Kenya ya kuunganisha wa Kenya. Mekua kwa siasa sasa mimi si mtoto, nimekuwa mtu mzima. Kwa hivyo, ninaaki ya kuchagua, ni chama gani ni taomba nae kura, inyeshe isinyeshe. Sisi tumeona siasa hii ya kuwakawanya wananchi haina maana yeyote iko na hasara tu Munya has been embroiled in a bitter war of words with the coalition since Meru Senator Kiraitu Murungi cast his eyes on the governor's seat which he wants to grab away on the jubilee party wagon an ambition that has left a sour taste in Munya's mouth and fueled this rivalry which played out openly during this fundraiser at St. Pius Seminary in Nikobo town. Wengine wanasema ati wanataka president ata hawajui kama watakuwa governor tena. Sasa, tunatafta nini kweli? Mtu ya yote abaya nasema maneno ya MOU. Uyo anataka kuchafua meru. Sababu, meru inaamua. Munya, who is also the council of governor's chairman, has in the past accused the Jubilee government of giving the meru region a raw deal, despite voting overwhelmingly for the coalition during the past election. And now, the young Jubilee party may have just hit its first brick wall in the region, barely 18 months to the country's polls. Wakati tunarundi, tukapitia kwa miti, tukaangalia kule juu. Mtumaa kazama na nini lile, ile ni msinga wanyuki. Sasa tusukume mmoja wetu, haende kule juu, atuletea achali. Tukasukua mmoja wetu, tukamusukuma, hata msekretu alikuwa kwa wakati wakusukuma. Tukasukuma kule juu, kufika kule juu, yeye kupata ile asali, anakula, pandala tutupia asali, anatutupia ma... ma Matawi. Tunataka kuleta wa Kenya wote pamoja kuwaingisha kwa kikapu kimoja ili umoja wa taifa uweze kuonekana na kusimama na kuondoka kwa itabia ya kila mchama iko kwa wilaya. Tunaona ya kwamba tumesema wale watu kwa sababu hatutaki tena siyasa mambo zamani ya kugawanya wananchi. Eti lazima kila community iwe na chama yake. Should Meru Governor Peter Munya register his own political outfit as promised, no doubt Meru is bracing up for a bruising showdown between the two political heavyweights, a duel also likely to split the Jubilee vote in the region during the 2017 polls. Muremi Mwangi, KTN News, Nairobi.